Hello, welcome to the third installment of my best mods for People Playground videos, and I'm going to be showing you my favourite People Playground mods. All the mods Steam links are in the description along with the appropriate timestamps, however I recommend watching the video all the way through. You can also like, subscribe and comment if you really enjoyed it since it will help my video get more recognised and pushed by YouTube. Now, these mods aren't in any specific order, but I'll start with the Regrowth Syringe mod by Jadushka Jada. It's basically just a buffed version of the Vanilla Life Syringe, but allows you to regrow limbs too. This works with all the parts of the body except the head, upper body and middle body. And you can't just get some random dismembered arm and expect it to grow a new human. This mod also contains a handy on-off switch, so the syringe doesn't affect all the ragdolls in your game. With this mod, you can farm a ragdoll's limbs continuously. All the dismembered ragdoll limbs then become separated from the human, and won't delete the original ragdoll if removed. Now the second mod is Bob's One Punch Man mod. If you don't know, One Punch Man is a popular anime and this mod happens to add most of the characters from the first and second seasons of the show. These characters then have different levels of strength and different powers, viewable in the context menu. Take Saitama for example, he can have a weak punch, normal punch, serious punch and furious punch, along with being able to activate the butt attack, kick attack and headbutt attack. I really like how Bob1245 has done the art of these characters. It's obvious he took a long time designing these and creating the mod. Now the next mod is the More Blood Colours mod by the Imposter Jake. This mod is quite self-explanatory and just adds a variety of different colours and different shades of blood inside the humans. This blood can go on walls and even extracted and remains the colour it should be. I bet you could make some pretty twisted out with this coloured blood like this rainbow I created here. This mod works perfectly with the Blood on Walls mod, allowing you to have different coloured blood on the background. Next up is the Modern Firearms mod by Megaturn. This mod adds 38 guns from the 1980s onwards and even has their own ammo system. Some of the popular guns include the Silenced Pistol, Glock 23, MP7 and P90. This mod is perfect if you want to create realistic war sequences with other mods added characters or ragdolls. After that, this isn't one single mod but two very similar mods so that's why I'm choosing to group them together like this. They both serve the purpose of helping you get those tedious Steam achievements. Also, if you want a full breakdown and tutorial about how to get every single Steam achievement for People Playground, go check out the video at the top right. It's also in the description. Now, it's the Uncharted Territory and Inverse Teleportation mods. All you have to do to do with these mods is spawn a box, activate it and it will teleport you to the Uncharted Territory map, or spawn in a giant gun which is funnily named the Normal Sized Gun. I recommend actually obtaining the achievements legitimately first, so... Now this isn't the first time I've mentioned a vehicle mod on this channel. In this mod, More Vehicles 2, is actually the sequel to the mod mentioned in the other Best Mods video. The More Vehicles 2 mod adds many unique, extra destructible vehicles such as the Ford Fairlane, Golf Cart and Firetruck among many others. Each of these vehicles have extra little add-ons that can be ripped off or hit off adding to the realism. Moreover, if they are in a hard enough crash they will have little glass particles that come off simulating the glass smashing in the windows of the different cars and vehicles. Quickness as two more vehicles mod should in my opinion be used together and would provide you an array of different cars and vehicles to choose from. Now again this isn't one singular mod but it's two similar ones which I'm grouping together under this category. They are the Feelings mod and Dynamic Human Emotions mod. Both these mods add different ways in creating faces on the human ragdolls. However, the Feeling mod adds 14 new different ragdolls to choose from, each with a permanent face showing a different emotion. There is also a DLC mod by the same author which adds far more unique faces. Now, the Dynamic Human Emotions mod has one spawnable entity that changes its face depending on what is happening to it. For example, if you shoot it, it will cry. When it eventually dies, the eyes become less visible, and when it's in the air it shows a funny screaming face. The mod is for those sadistic people who like watching the life escape their ragdoll's eyes as you brutally shoot them down. Next is another weapons mod, the Team Wilson's Arsenal Weapon Pack. It adds over 100 different weapons. Yes, you heard me right, 100. This is by far the largest and highest quality weapons mod pack. Not only is it just weapons though, 
The mod adds a new ragdoll, 16 grenades, 42 attachments and 15 armour attachments. Also, did I mention that these weapons, armours and attachments all replicate real life versions used by different nations armies? Well, most of them are realistic. Listen. Furthermore, many of these weapons have different skins you can switch through in the context menu. I think this is one of the best mods, certainly the best weapon mod at the moment in the entirety of the People Playground Steam Workshop. Just to add to the intense detail of this mod, when you hover over the weapon in the Wilson's Weapons tab, it says how many skins are present and their nickname along with any facts about the real life weapon. Really, this mod's great and you should check it out. Now, this mod completely changes how you play People Playground, and that isn't even an understatement. It is the People Playground 3D mod. You play in first person, being able to spawn in many ragdolls and weapons to your liking, although being quite hard on your PC. Now, as expected, not every item from vanilla People Playground is included since they need to do a lot of work to implement them successfully, but all the items that are in the current mode of 3D are functional. Also, I forgot to say that it is yet another great mod by Team Wilson. This mod just adds a unique twist to the game. You can either go no clip, teleport to the cursor, use wires and machinery and slow down time in first person mode. I'm sure if you're bored of the two dimensions you're given in Vanilla People Playground, you'll love this mod. Now finally, I feel it's unfair not to mention a contraption in this video, since they are still technically mods. The Krusk submarine mod adds a large submarine to the game that actually is airtight so your ragdolls won't drown in the submarine. However, you do need to install the watertight box mod in order for the contraption to load properly and not be corrupted. Both links are in the description. What makes this contraption great, you may ask? Well, at the back of the submarine, if I dissect it here, you can see that it has its own little movement system where you can use the U, J, H and K keys to move up, down, left and right. Now one little drawback with this contraption is it is so incredibly slow moving upwards. This is because the sheer weight of the sub is dragging it down. But other than that, I'd say it's pretty easily manoeuvrable. But at least it isn't controlled by a Logitech gamepad. Anyway. It has a turret that can be moved up and down with the M and B keys along with the N key which fires a rocket out of the turret. To be honest though, there are so many good contraptions scattered across the Steam Workshop that you should try out, like this bold return massive android. Again, if you enjoyed the video consider reacting with the video and give me suggestions on what types of videos or different games I should play next. See you soon. Do I? Uh...